The dream of autonomous vehicles has been around since, well, probably the days of Henry Ford. And technology has come a long, long way since then. I think, I think driverless cars is long overdue. This is the 21st century, after all. This was easily imagined by future thinkers back in the 1950s and 60s. Well, flying cars. Flying cars are making the round, and autonomy has been a staple of aviation for years. Look at how technology has transformed the safety of air travel. Um, airliners that essentially fly themselves, uh, which has eliminated a lot of the human error type crashes that we used to have. And that's the goal for developers of driverless cars. Make them safe, really safe. Uh, people are, are going to want to be re extremely comfortable with lots of these vehicles out there and vehicles interacting with one another. Dr. Jonathan Sprinkle and his team at the University of Arizona are working toward those goals and there are plenty of questions the cars will need to be able to answer on their own before they become mainstream. Where's the nearest obstacle? Where, where are other cars in relationship to me and where are other pedestrians? And, and that's where we're going to see a lot of the interesting research come out. How do I behave when the environment isn't exactly like I predicted? Therein lies one of the biggest problems. Computers and sensors can deal with complex situations very well, but throw in a bit of the unknown, and humans have the upper hand, at least for now. Uh, one of the tricky parts is dealing with unexpected situations. So it turns out that humans are innately really good at knowing what to do when something weird happens. So a deer jumps out in front of the road, there's a mattress on the highway, or there's traffic cones telling you to do something else. And our artificial intelligence software, although we're getting really close to being able to do all the things people can do in a car, still doesn't have quite as good of an overall understanding of the world. And so when something weird happens, we don't quite know how to handle it as, as safely as a human might. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety is optimistic about the prospects of driverless cars, as well as the technology that's likely to surface before the cars do. If we could have technology that is constantly monitoring the road ahead and can alert drivers when there's a hazard ahead and even take over some tasks like automatically braking if the driver doesn't react fast enough, um, that could be a big safety benefit and could be a countermeasure that could address the distracted driving crashes that we're all concerned about. Technology undoubtedly will have a huge impact not only on how we drive but also on the laws that govern driving. In the future a lot of that liability could shift from humans to manufacturers and how do we as a society want to structure our incentive system and our compensation system to protect individuals and to help society as a whole. Those questions are getting plenty of scrutiny, as is the technology that will guide the cars of the future. John Belmont, Associated Press.